Have you ever wondered what made the Roman army so formidable? Well, one answer lies in a deadly weapon known as the Roman scorpion. This lethal anti-personnel machine has roots tracing back to the ingenious minds of ancient Greece, where similar devices were crafted for unleashing a storm of small projectiles. However, it was the Romans who truly recognized the potential of this weapon, adopting it into their military strategy and refining its design for maximum impact. The scorpion became a staple in the Roman siege warfare arsenal, feared by many for its ability to disrupt enemy formations and inflict mass casualties. Key to its success was its portability. Mounted on wheeled carriages, the scorpion could be easily maneuvered across the battlefield, ready to strike wherever its deadly sting was needed. The scorpion, with its wheeled carriage and lightweight design, was a versatile addition to the Roman battlefield. But what made the scorpion so effective? Let's delve into its components and mechanism. The scorpion, while simple in design, was powered by an ingenious system of torsion springs or twisted ropes. These were attached to a beam, forming the heart of the weapon. This beam was then connected to a release mechanism, which was designed to hold and then launch the deadly projectiles. When the springs or ropes were twisted and then released, they would snap back to their original position, driving the beam forward with surprising force. This, in turn, would trigger the release mechanism, sending a bolt or dart flying towards the enemy. With the right combination of power and precision, these projectiles could reach distances of up to 100 meters. This relatively simple yet effective mechanism allowed the Scorpion to fire projectiles up to 100 meters. The Scorpion wasn't just a weapon, it was a game changer in siege warfare. With its rapid fire capabilities, it brought a new dimension to anti-personnel warfare. Imagine being on a battlefield and suddenly a rain of deadly bolts disrupts your formation. That's the kind of chaos the Scorpion could stir up. Moreover, the Scorpion was a master at psychological warfare. The sight and sound of incoming projectiles would strike fear into the hearts of enemy troops, shaking their morale and confidence. But it didn't stop there. The Scorpion was also a sharpshooter, capable of incapacitating key personnel within enemy ranks. A well-aimed bolt could take out a commanding officer, causing confusion and disarray, and giving the Romans a chance to strike. In essence, the Scorpion was more than just a tool for destruction. It was a strategic asset that enabled the Romans to control the battlefield. The Scorpion gave the Romans a significant advantage, changing the dynamics of sieges and battles. So, how exactly was the Scorpion used in battle? Well, the deployment of the Scorpion was strategic and varied based on the situation at hand. Alongside other formidable siege weapons such as ballistas and catapults, Scorpions were often used to launch a coordinated assault on enemy fortifications. Imagine the scene, a barrage of bolts and stones raining down upon the enemy, sowing chaos and confusion. But the Scorpion wasn't just a long-range weapon, it was equally effective in close-quarters combat, firing directly at enemy troops and causing havoc. Picture the terror of a Roman soldier, bolt launcher in hand, laying waste to the enemy lines. And let's not forget, the Scorpion was also a key player in defense. Roman camps and fortifications would often be dotted with these machines, their presence alone enough to deter enemy attacks and protect key personnel. Whether attacking or defending, the Scorpion was a vital part of the Roman military strategy. The Scorpion's influence didn't end with the fall of the Roman Empire. This versatile weapon remained a staple in the Roman military arsenal, proving its worth in countless sieges and battles across the empire. The Scorpion's adaptability made it a valuable asset, capable of being deployed in a variety of military operations. But the Scorpion's influence reached far beyond the borders of Rome. Its design principles that emphasized rapid multiple shots to disrupt and demoralize enemy ranks can be seen echoed in modern anti-personnel weapons. The shotgun, capable of firing multiple projectiles in a single shot, and the automatic rifle, with its ability to unleash a rapid barrage of bullets, both bear the unmistakable imprint of the Scorpion. From the ancient battlefield to modern weaponry, the legacy of the Roman Scorpion continues to be felt today.